Well, welcome to today's morning report. Trust prices with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Antec Markets on Thursday, the 6th of April. We've had a change in sentiment, certainly on equity markets anyway. Equities strongly uh, fell away in the wake of the Fed minutes last night. The Fed um, has started talking about balance sheet reduction. That certainly seems to be another tightening um, aspect of their monetary policy now. And also they've started to mention the fact that equity markets were starting to look a little bit high in terms of valuation uh, relative to standard valuation apparently and um, certainly that uh, hit Wall Street um, there was a, a correction into the close uh, markets had been higher show you the S&P 500 markets had been higher pretty much through the day on the back of the strong ADP employment numbers but strongly uh, corrected uh, into the close um, sort of pairing all those re all those gains that they saw you've seen um, Treasury yields also pulling lower the 10-year yield sort of back down towards that 2.3%. The two-year also uh, back towards um, the near-term support, certainly around 2280, uh, which has been sort of a bit of a flaw, 2260. Uh, in uh, the last couple of weeks, um, so the dollar has just sort of tailed off a bit, although it rallied slightly today. Um, and uh, that uh, little rally has come really on the back of uh, euro weakness and the euro has been slightly uh, hit this morning from dovish comments from uh, Mario Draghi um, in a speech this morning but generally speaking there is a bit of a safe haven tilt in the markets and uh, the yen is outperforming uh, as we speak so um, there's not a massive amount of economic data today to really get your teeth into um, sort of looking for towards the uh, jobless claims this afternoon 250,000 down from 258 uh, would be basically um, a, a positive number there um, but uh, nothing really to get too worked up about today so that takes me to my chart today which is sterling aussie now i think sterling aussie is an interesting chart because what we have seen um is basically the sterling aussie sort of settling into this sort of range phase really 57.90 up towards um 178 which is around about two 2006 I suppose um, sorry two yeah 2006 and um, what we have seen is the the market starting to improve in the last um, last sort of week or so as sterling has strengthened and the Aussie has come under pressure that uh, Aussie has come under further pressure from the um, RBA meeting this week which was so held rates flat at 1.5% but sort of was a little bit cautious on uh, labor and inflation data and what we have seen here you can see the uh, 144 hour moving average which has been a basis of resistance on the main rallies certainly just prior to um, Brexit and subsequently in December and also in March now we're just starting to put pressure on that um, that moving average again and what we're also doing is starting to put pressure on a downtrend um, that's been in place since September. Now there is a, a wider downtrend that you could also sort of come back to which is still intact and uh, that certainly currently comes in around 67 area. So there is the prospect of this recovery going on but look at these momentum indicators, the RSI up around sort of three four month highs stochastics also improving macd lines up above neutral so this is certainly an improving chart you'd say and that the resistance is being tested at 65.55 which was uh, the march high and that's already been tested today 65.75 is today's high uh, just come back slightly but uh, the candles are sort of racking up in terms of the positivity of the bulls. Now we see the hourly chart where you've got sort of a, a trading range really uh, in the last sort of few days. Sorry about the green colour. Uh, but trading range in the last few days and we're sort of testing obviously the highs of that range. Um, momentum indicators more positively configured uh, on the hourly chart certainly in the last um, sort of week or so the RSI continues to find support around 40 pushing towards 70 that's positively configured and also the MACD lines finding support above neutral so it, there is upside pressure that is growing and you're seeing a succession of higher lows you've got the near-term support that is coming into play around 63.80 uh, forming a little bit of a, a trading range uh, in the last three days which you've broken out through so you'd be looking at finding a little correction back towards 65 figure area as a chance to buy I think today 
Um, and uh, I think that could be what we're seeing at the moment. So looking positive for continued recovery. 67.65 is that um, resistance uh, there from January. And uh, it looks like a sort of maneuvering towards a test of that level. Um, and that would be testing that uh, longer downtrend as well. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later.